Okay, I'm going to log here on the Goblin Brawler to try to keep the wizard alive. Perfect. I'm going to Ice Spirit here as well. Oh, the wizard just destroyed those zappies. Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing some Wizard Expo on top ladder. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm against Parsa M now. He finished number 15 two seasons ago, so pretty high finishing Lava Hound player. I feel like the wizard will help out a ton against his Lava Loon deck. Because he plays with the freeze and doesn't have like a fireball or anything to kill my wizard. So wizard should like never die. Wizard should be completely broken here. I have my skeletons to protect this wizard here. This already looks like a really good situation. I have a nice wizard down here. Oh, he goes for the lava hound. Okay, I'm going to go in for my expo. You always want to expo same lane as the lava hound. The wizard is going to get a ton of value here. He has no inferno dragon either. He has no way to kill the wizard. Because anything he does, I can just kill it with a fireball. Yeah, there we go. Fireball. <laughs> I like when the wizard spawns in and it says magic. It's like, magic. It's super funny. <laughs> okay, I do have an extra wizard here, but I'm not going to do it right away. Because if I do the wizard, then he'll just save up and go balloon freeze on the opposite lane. So I want him to balloon on his own so then I can go for the cannon plus wizard. Wizard on the side to kill the lava hound pups first. So even if he freezes, I still have the ice spirit and the left side tower shooting at the balloon. Oh, ice spirit now. Oh, nice. I got that last second ice spirit jump. I'm going to knight the bridge here. He has no barbarians in cycle. He has no way to save the tower. This should just be tower down right now. There's nothing he can really do to defend it because he has no barbs and no inferno dragon. I don't even need to prelog. Okay. The inferno dragons now, but obviously you couldn't defend it like right away or else the wizard would have just killed it. <laughs> he calls it an early good game, but I don't know if it's over yet because it is lava hound. But as long as I don't really like mess up too crazily, I should win this easily. Okay, he goes for the goblins a log oh he gave up <laughs> nice okay well i guess since he gave up i'll see you guys in the next match i'm in the next match here against navi just gonna go for my ice spirit the bridge i know this guy's a royal giant player he used to play rg skeleton king back in the monk phoenix meta in like 2022 <laughs> so a little bit over a year ago i guess so i'm gonna assume it's still rg skeleton king okay it's looking like e giant to be honest E Giant's a fine matchup for this deck. As long as I play some good offense, then I think I could win. It's a little bit hard to get damage. So, okay, never mind. It is RG. I was right. Hopefully that wizard could probably die. Okay, it's still on 1 HP, but it's fine. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like facing Royal Giant. I feel like it's super stressful knowing they just dropped that big dude at the bridge. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, I feel like it's stressful having them drop that big dude at the bridge over and over again. And... I feel like the defense with the Fisherman is always super strong. Can never really get through that deck with anything that I play. I usually can only get through with like Miners or something on their tower because you can't really prevent that. I just, I've never really been a big fan of RG. It's one of my least favorite decks. Definitely not one of my least favorite cards though. My least favorite card probably has to be the Evil Royal Recruits or, may, or maybe Flying Machine. I really hate Flying Machine as well. That card has a special hatred in my heart. <laughs> I'll go for the wizard in the back here. Should get a nice push here because I have the wizard evil knight, but I don't think I'll really be able to make anything out of this because he has evil RG. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't have evil RG. He has evil archers, so that means he has um no evil RG, but he does have RG for my expo anyway, so it won't really do too much. I'll ice spear here on the left because he has to barber on the right. Yep, perfect. Okay. Goes for the tombstone in the middle. I'll just go for the log here. I don't know what he's going to do here. He doesn't really have the greatest hand. I'm just going to skeletons at the bridge in case he has a mother witch. Okay, just going to go for the wizard in the back here to try to deal with that royal giant. These big RG pushes are always super scary, to be honest. I never really have a good time defending them. They always, like, intimidate me, I guess. I don't really know why, but they just seem pretty difficult to stop most of the time. I'll skeletons here to keep my wizard alive. But when you make mistakes like that, they're not too hard to defend. I'll go for the wizard here on the left side to kill the skeleton king. Okay, he goes for the Mother Witch. Hmm. Just going to knight the bridge here to protect the wizard. Wait, that was a really bad RG. I'm going to expo on the left. He has a knight wizard on the right and a wizard expo on the left. He can't defend. I'm going to scale. He's here to protect the expo from the Barbro. A fireball on the archer. Okay, evil knight to protect from the skeleton king. I think it's over. That expo is going to take the entire tower. <laughs> I don't know what this guy was doing with that RG in the back, but <laughs> this guy just had an RG player moment. That was an E and RG. <laughs> Let's go. Just going to go for the log and then Ice Spear, and that is going to be GG's. Let's go. Beating RG with expo is always satisfying, especially when you win by like an expo connection and not just defending and spell cycling the entire match. Let's go. 
I'm in the next match against Muhammad, okay? Luckily, it's not Muhammad Light. Well, because <laughs> playing these kind of fun wizard decks, um, you definitely don't want to be facing the former world champion. It really kind of sucks that he lost the world championship because I thought he was going to win for sure. I had no doubt in my mind that he was going to win, but I feel like the no skill meta, like with a bunch of Goblin Giant and a bunch of Evo recruits kind of like made it hard for him and made the matchups like... Sometimes when there's a bad matchup, you can outplay and win, but I feel like when you get a bad matchup against Evo Recruits and Goblin Giant, it's much harder to overcome and beat it as it was, I guess, in the past, where it was just like other regular cards. I feel like Evo has definitely hurt him a lot, and not only Evo is, but the meta. I was really rooting for him, if you guys didn't know. Um, he's one of my good friends, so it really sucks that he's not actually the world champion anymore, but it's not the end of the world. Hopefully he wins 2024. Okay, this guy does have Evo Recruits. I didn't know that he had um, Evo Recruits. I thought that he was playing Pigs EQ Cycle because he did Pigs first play. And usually with Royal Recruits, you don't Royal Hogs first play because you're trying to get to your Evo. Gale Knight here to get a few Expo ticks on the tower. Pretty good damage right there. I'll just Skeletons to defend that Brawler. Not bad, not bad. Forced up to Zappies too. He's really low on Elixir. Should be around like one or two. Because he put those as soon as he got them. I can just log them to death and get some nice chip damage on the tower too. This matchup is going to be a wizard one for sure. This is going to be a, where a matchup that wizard completely carries me. And if I had any other ground card, I would probably be dead. But the wizard is going to be so broken against the recruits. Because the only way to kill them is fireball arrows. And that's seven elixir. Seven elixir on the wizard is definitely not what you want to be doing. Because I can just cycle to a second one. Because expo has a super fast cycle. Wizard's pretty underrated. I've like I always thought that it was terrible. I even said that in another video, but Wizard is actually pretty good. It has a lot of stuff that's it's actually pretty strong against. But the problem is that like it's so bad against other stuff where you just rather any other cards. So I feel like it's like the randomness that makes top players not like to use it is like the I guess the the safety of not using it. I guess like just using a musketeer it make like it may make it worse against like recruits for example but it's safer against literally anything else so i guess like if you play perfect you could still beat it with a musketeer but it's just much easier with a wizard wizard is more like depends on what you're facing i guess if it's good or not but a musketeer is just pretty solid overall i feel like musketeer kind of has that reputation in clash Royale as well just like it's never like crazy broken but it's like known for being like a pretty solid card no matter what i feel like it kind of like stands true when you think about it how the wizard is strong against like certain like like squishy cards and then musketeers is good in general okay i'm gonna log here on the goblin brawler to try to keep the wizard alive perfect i'm gonna ice spirit here as well oh the wizard just destroyed those zappies okay my barb <laughs> okay my knight is destroying that tower i'm gonna wizard again here try to get another expo lock skelly's here then i can go for my knight hopefully i can protect this expo i'll ice spirit here too to bring those over to the wizard perfect i think my expo is gonna get under the tower Yep, Expo got a few ticks. That Knight's on. I'm going to Fireball in case he wants to Zappies. Okay, he doesn't Zappies, but I think that is going to be GG's. I and mean, he's only at 225. He didn't even try to defend that. I'll just cycle back to another Fireball. Oh, okay. I'm going to Cannon here and then, and then I'll Fireball. I don't know what he thought he was doing there. <laughs> like, I thought he was slick or something. Okay, I'll just go for the Fireball. GG's. Very nice win there. That match really showed how good Wizard actually is. Just kind of underrated. I'll see you guys with the next match. I'm in the next match here against this guy. Okay, he has the Evo Archers there. What do you guys think about me including a loss every video, by the way? I don't know about every video, but... Like, because, like, sometimes I don't lose when recording a video. Like, for example, the other day, I pushed an Ultimate Champion, and I had a 100% win rate, as I showed, like, on the screen. Like, there's nothing I can really do about that kind of thing, but let me know if you guys, like, actually want to see a loss in, like, more videos than not, because I know I don't really show too many losses, because for me... I guess I think it's, like, sometimes the way I lose is kind of dumb. Like, I miss, like, one card placement and I ruin the whole game by just missing one card. And it's kind of frustrating to lose in that way. So I just don't really want to show it because I just, like, for like for example, I'll miss, like, a log or something. Or I'll miss, like, a cannon pull. Just play a bad night and lose my entire tower and lose the game. But if you guys want to see more losses, I will. I do include losses sometimes. They're kind of losses I, like, find to be either funny or good. Like, we both played well and... They just got, like, they just played better or something like that. But, yeah, just let me know if you want to see more of those, I guess. Um, 
I try my best to include losses whenever I can, but as most people, I am a sore loser. I hate to lose. I'm really competitive. I feel like that's why I started playing Clash Royale a lot in general is because I'd lose and I would get annoyed and just like play more because I wanted to be better than the people I was taking else to. <laughs> that knight should get a hit or two on the tower. Yeah, one hit. Nice. I want to expo here too. I'll just go for the expo. Try to bait out the P.E.K.K.A. Okay, nice. There it is. Him having Little Prince is pretty annoying though. Can't really do anything against Little Prince P.E.K.K.A. All the P.E.K.K.A. players have Little Prince Evil Archers now. I'll just Ice Spirit here. Wait, that was a terrible Little Prince though. I don't know what that one was because it's just going to die to my expo and not kill it. I'm just going to knight the bridge here for the bandit. Perfect. Might get a small expo lock, but I think he can just Archers. But he doesn't want to waste them because they're Evo. Yeah, he battle rams. I can just go for my wizard plus log. Wizard completely destroys battle ram too. I've been noticing that wizard destroys like a lot of cards that you wouldn't even expect. I'll go for the expo again. He might try to go for the P.E.K.K.A., but I just want to get a nice fireball on the evo archers. That's kind of what I'm going for here. I don't really care about... Yeah, there we go. He can just fireball now. Because I'm confident in my defense here to defend that. So just getting the evo archers off the board just seems smart. Cannon and then ice spirit to pull the P.E.K.K.A. away. P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam is always a lot of defending, and it's pretty stressful, but you can manage. I'm going to go for the log here. Expo has always had a good match against P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam, as long as you don't have, like, a strange version. Little Prince definitely makes it harder, but I think it's still my matchup as long as I play good defense. I'll go for the cannon up top. Just try to avoid giving fireball value. I can go for the knight like this. I can go for another Expo here. I have Wizard and Evil Knight down. Seems like a pretty good expo push. Oh, any little prince in the back. That's huge. I'm going to go for the fireball log here on it just to make sure that it dies. Wait, I can cannon on top of that and then all skeletons to protect the expo from the P.E.K.K.A. Oh, wow. That was a good zap. Wow. That was an instant zap. Like That was a prediction zap. That was really, really well played. I'm going to go for the expo here again. Just try to get the P.E.K.K.A. out another time. Yeah, there it is. Kind of have to let this push go now because he has the little prince on the side. Yep, can just go for my wizard here, but going for expos like this makes it so he can't really make good P.E.K.K.A. pushes. I'll just knight here to make the bandit dash onto it. Easy defense again. I could go for another expo, but this time it doesn't really seem that good because of that ghost in the back. That ghost is never going to get touched when I have no knight nowhere close in cycle. Okay, I'll just go for another wizard at the back. Really nice wizard hits right there as well. I'll go for the knight plus ice spirit. And the log too. I don't know why the cannon didn't pull it, but it's whatever. I think I'll just cycle another. Okay, wait. I can fireball on that archer. I just want to fireball both of the archers. I'm not really interested in dealing with those. The evil archers are just so scary. Oh, nice ice spirit there protecting the wizard. I can evo knight too. I'll just fireball on the archer again. Dude, I, I just had to fireball two individual archers. That's how broken they are. This might be a hard defense because of that. I'm kind of really low on elixir. Oh no. I'm going to log. No, this is where I choke. This is what always happens against Pekka. You always choke in these kind of positions. Okay, I'm going to cannon here. I'm going to go for the log. Ice spirit. Skeletons. Knight? Okay, we're good. Damn, I thought I choked for a second. Those are like, well, not really, not even choke, but I almost got destroyed by the evil archers. That's like the power of the evil archers in triple elixir with Pekka bridge spam. I had no way to get to both of them, so I had to fireball them both. And because of that, I was down so much elixir, but I still won. I'll see you guys with the next match. All right, I'm in the next match here against Pompeo. This guy's probably the best balloon player in the game, honestly. Like, he doesn't really play balloon cycle, but... People always consider it Balloon Cycle, but he plays like this Balloon Beatdown deck kind of thing where he just has like a lot of air cards and a minor balloon. He plays it super, super well. So even if you have a good matchup, it's always tough. Okay, I'll, I'll cannon here to protect the wizard, I meant to say. Then I'll just Ice Spirit here too. Okay, really bad Ice Spirit, but it's okay. I'm not going to take a balloon hit, I don't think. Wow, okay. I want to knight the bridge there, but I don't want to give him a good fireball. So I think I'll just go for the Expo opposite lane. I'm going to wait though for him to defend it. Okay. I'm just going to go for the expo here. Wait, hold up. Oh, dude, no, no. Oh, my. Dude, I was scratching my leg. And he went for the Inferno Dragon. Oh, my. I should have... Dude. If I just didn't scratch my leg, I think I could have won right there. Well, not won, because he... Well, he didn't have Rage. I would have got a ton of damage. Maybe not win, but I would have been up quite a lot of damage. I mean, I guess it was worth it, though. My leg was super itchy. I'll just go for the skeletons here. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I randomly get itchy during games and it kind of like bugs me really, really badly. Like 
I hate getting distracted by, like, random stuff throughout the game. Like, for example, like, being itchy, a sneeze, a cough. It just, like, takes me off my focus sometimes. I'll go for the wizard in the back here. He might balloon on the right side, but I have Evil Knight plus Cannon immediately, and I should defend pretty easily. Evil Knight Cannon? Yep, perfect, exactly. I knew what he was going to do there. He's going to have to defend the Evil Knight now, which is not going to be easy. Oh, Skelly's here at the bridge. Okay, I'm going to go for the Ice Spirit here. That's going to get one balloon hit, but it's not the end of the world, I guess. Please note two. Okay, good. I'm going to Wizard the bridge here, try to DPS down that Knight. That Knight should get DPS down by my Evil Knight Wizard. Yeah, nice. Okay. That's going to get some good damage because he didn't cage right on top because I guess that what happened to the last goblin cage I played against at the beginning of the video and he 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 knows that. He really knows how to use the goblin cage. I'll cannon here. I don't know how I'm going to be able to defend this push though. I'm just going to log here to keep the cannon alive and then I'll go for the ice spirit. I need the skeletons to get to the last second fireball. Oh, uh, please. Oh, let's go. Okay, we're good. I'm up a lot of damage, but I'm down a lot of elixir and he has evil knight. Whenever he gets to the Evo Knight, he has these really scary pushes, and I think I might be dead. I'm not positive, but it is not looking good. I'm going to try to block the bridge here to keep myself alive. Okay, the, okay, nice. I did block the bridge. Perfect. I'm going to go for the wizard here. He's going to get a good fireball rage on me, but at least the balloon's going to die. Okay, I'm going to go for the knight. I'm going to fireball on everything, and then I'm going to ice spirit. Okay, nice. Good defense there, but... I'm not really in a damage lead anymore. I'm only ahead by 200. He's putting on a lot of pressure right now. He's playing very well, to be honest. Not really making any mistakes. He just got to the evil knight and is destroying me right now. Okay, nice minor prediction. I thought that was going to be on the tower. I think it's over because of that. I'm going to knight here. Unless I do a perfect fireball, I'm dead. I have to reset the balloon hit with the fireball to have a chance. Fireball. Oh, I did it. Okay. Wow, I actually reset it. I can't believe it. Yeah, he gave me the well played. Gale wizard skeletons here and i think maybe i could live from this push i'm gonna cannon oh no that's just blocking that was smart because he doesn't want the miner to die as quickly ice spirit please save me now nah, that's ggs okay well thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye